never put you guys on the floor like this. This is something new. Okay, so we're gonna have a little intimate talk um, for this video, and uh, that intimate talk is going to be um, something that I've kind of neglected to talk about for a while on this channel. I don't know why I've neglected to talk about it. Um, I've found that being transparent is so much better than um, excluding things that that you don't want to... What am I saying? Okay, what I'm trying to say is I have been neglecting to make this video for one specific reason, and that one specific reason is because I was uncomfortable with sharing this side of my of my life with you guys because it's a lot more of a vulnerable side. Um, it's a lot. It's it's the bare bone truth, and sometimes vulnerability and the truth can can be intimidating, and um, that's not something that I want to do. I'd rather uh, bring some 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 experiences that have made me vulnerable and share them with you guys because I'm sure so many of you guys are going through this exact same thing that I went through and um, I'm making this video to help you guys out as much as I can because my age range being from like 18 to 24 or 18 to 25 uh, basically graduating high school and going into your lively careers um, yeah a lot of people have trouble with that so here we go now I want to emphasize that a lot of my vulnerability came from um, what I was doing uh, when I graduated high school and went into college. So I graduated high school in 2016. Uh, I had no idea what I wanted to do. Um, no idea where to even begin. So I went with the first thing that came to mind, and that's something is what I have loved to do since I was a child, um, like age 12, 13, 14. They're coming for you, Barbara. Stop it! You're acting like a child! They're coming for you. Look, there comes one of them now. It's been a while, um, 21 now, so that puts it into context. I went with that first thing, and that first thing was film. Can I just say, dude, I live in New Mexico, and it's like 105 outside, and I'm sweating so much. Like, you guys can't see it, but it's so hot in here. It's like 80 degrees in my house. Okay, back to seriousness. So, um, I chose film as a career, and I was like, wait, well, you know what? I can't really take this anywhere, because there's not really an industry here in Las Cruces for that. And I didn't think about moving or, or pursuing any type of, like, I, I didn't think about what I could do with film. And I, I just saw dead ends, and that was the wrong perspective. I didn't know this at the time, but this caused, this, but this caused me to take a shift, and I started thinking about, okay, well, what else can I do? Um, because this film thing might not work out. I, I, so then I put a lot of thought into that, and a lot of things happened in my personal life. Um, things that I'm not going to talk about on here for many reasons, but these things happened and that caused me to say, well, man, um, doctors are pretty cool. Yes, okay. I'm ready to buzz the superficial temporal artery. Tending sutures. There's no rush. And, and pre-med and, and while I was trying to like learn the whole process of how to get to this, this accomplishment, this checkpoint, this, this goal of being a doctor. So, I started college, um, and I started as a pre-med student. I actually started in community college, which is not far from my university. There's two different campuses of, no, I think there's three different campuses of the community college that I, I went to first year. This is when I, I, I started taking um, both my basics and my pre-med courses. Now, I wouldn't have lasted if I had um, gone into this without passion. I was certainly passionate, and I still am passionate about medicine and healthcare and things like that. So I went into the whole pre-med thing. I was working my ass off, you guys. I was, I was, um, I was actually in a very bad position, and that's the whole point of this video. So being pre-med, you are studying a sh ton. You are doing a lot of work. Um, you guys are actually sitting on a stack of. Uh, my first year work and some of my second year work. Actually, this is, it's kind of, here, I'll show you guys right here. So this is what you guys are sitting on, and this is not all of my work. This is actually a cool thing that I don't, I don't even know where that's from, but this is a lot of work. This is actually, um, my, my degree, um, path structure thing that my advisor gave me a while back. But you guys are sitting on this stack, and this stack is about 30% of all of the work I did in first year as pre-med and going into second year. Now when I say that I was working my ass off, that does not mean that pre-med is the only career that you should work your ass off in. I'm working my ass off with anything that I'm passionate about, anything that I want to do, and that is what you guys should do. Figure out who you are, 
Don't apologize for who you are and then become even greater than you naturally are at what you are. But um, when I was working my ass off, that's all I was doing. Uh, I wasn't considering sleep, I wasn't considering myself, I wasn't considering family, I wasn't considering all of the things valuable that keep me alive. And when I say keep me alive, I mean that quite literally because um, neglecting my health, neglecting family time, neglecting friends, neglecting neglecting my, my own mental health. I was doing all of this when I began college. I was going to work from 2 to 11 and I was studying all night, getting one or two hours of sleep and going to take exams the next day or quizzes. I had quizzes pretty much every day. And at the same time, everything that involved around my personal life was kind of going downhill. And it was going downhill both because I was neglectful and because of other reasons. I couldn't realize that at the time because I was so like um, into my schoolwork. So before I get into um, the things that I've actually learned in college so far, um, I will say that during my first year of college, I was pre-med, yes. Um, yes, I wanted to be pre-med. I still want to be pre-med. But I was doing it for the satisfaction of others. I wasn't doing it for myself. I was doing it because it's prestigious, because it's hard. I was also a new vice president of the newly founded pre-med club at my university. So all of that combined, um, it just didn't work. It wasn't a good mesh of, it was a good mesh. It was, I was where I needed to be, but I didn't have the perspective that I needed to continue. So now I'll get into uh, what I've learned so far. So I've been spending a lot more time with my family. I've been spending a lot more time evaluating my perspective. I've been spending a lot of time on my physical health, which means I, I have been exercising a lot more since a couple of years ago or last year or whatever. I've like kind of rewired my entire mentality. And now this isn't some cheesy bull. This is reality. This is what I've been experiencing. And this is what I want to pass on to you guys. Taking action for others for their for their satisfaction um, is the quickest way to burn yourself out and to uh, get depressed and to find hopelessness and to uh, and, and to have a low self-esteem and to have low confidence and and then that in turn feeds into everything else in your life and then it just escalates and escalates and escalates and then you burn out and then you want to pull your hair out. Always make sure that you are doing it because it brings happiness to you. Thank you, thank you all so very much. As long as you're happy doing it, um, and it's not harming others or harming yourself, go for it. The opinion of others is never going to dictate your happiness. You are going to find your happiness by doing what you're passionate about and doing it all the damn time. Whether or not your sister hates you, or your dad disowns you, or your cousin talks shit about you, or your friends leave you in the dust, or something. Because when you reach 70, and you realize, well shit, I've been doing this so I could impress others, you are going to have major regret, you are going to hate yourself, you are going to hate your decisions, and you are most likely going to blame it on others, because you are doing it for them. Um, now, I have grown a lot, It's only, it hasn't been long, it's only been a, a year, a couple of years, but I am taking advantage of this time. I have realized that this is probably the most important time in my life where I am going to have to work and be passionate and search and find new things and find new love and all of these things to make me grow, to help me grow. I have realized that I cannot exclude everything that I hold dear to me for something that is prestigious because that's just ridiculous. If I'm going to pursue something, it's not because of the money, it's not to impress others, it's not to make others happy, it's going to do that for me. I'm going to impress myself, I'm going to grow for myself, I'm going to learn for myself, I'm going to be happy for myself, I'm going to love myself. And I, I, I didn't find that in film, but I found that with film film helped me find that. And that's because now that I'm taking these electives right now, that's given me the chance to pursue film and really pursue it. And I mean, really pursue it as in I've put out, this is gonna be my 82nd video on, on my most recent channel, which is the channel I'm on now. And I've improved drastically in filmmaking and I've improved drastically in myself. I've grown a lot as an individual. I've become a lot wiser and smarter. Like I said, um, here I'll, I'll move you guys now. 
um, I've noticed that I'm a lot more passionate. I'm a lot more driven. I, I wake up every single day with a smile because I know that I can I can tackle the day and I'll be happy whether it's Sunday or it's Monday or it's Tuesday, whatever. So this this isn't to discredit any pre-med students out there or or anyone that is pursuing a passion. I guess this video is intended to bring out guidance and and that guidance is coming from telling you about my own experiences with mistakes that I've made recently. Always pursue what you're passionate about. If you're not passionate about something yet, search for things, do different things. Um, something might seem abstract and like, what the hell, why would I like that? But try it out. Um, if, if you've never tried painting, try that out. If you've never tried um, racing, try that out. If you've never tried professional eating, try that out. Try shit out, um, find what you love, and work your ass off doing that, and get great at that. I'm in the pursuit of that um, as an individual, in my work, in my in, in what I do for travel, and what I do for my school. And when you do this, it's important to remember personal health, it's important to remember family, it's important to remember work, it's important to remember perspective. You don't want to lose yourself for the sake of making something that you're not. Okay, hope you guys like this video. I'm gonna start editing and gonna go for a run and exercise and stuff. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys the next time I upload. Uh, have a good day, have a good night, good morning. All right, bye.